What's up YouTube? Tenchi Arizona, the angry Dracolope of the Jackalope crew here, and let's get right into it with the Caro L335 Lancia Flamme. Now, this tank is actually smaller than Demon. Yes, I promised you there were tanks smaller than Demon, and this is it. Although a slight caveat, this tank is actually longer because of its trailer. Why does a tank need a trailer, I hear you ask? Well, because this thing is an actual goddamn flamethrower. So, this tank not only kills you, it gives you a free cremation as well, because like I said, this is a goddamn flamethrower. Enjoy the rest of the video. Yes, this is a German tank, and no, I will not be blurring out any Balkenkreuz or swastika that appear on German tanks, because those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it. We have arrived at more iconic tanks such as this Panzer IV. Now I checked several sources including Wikipedia and the three digit number, in this case on the turret, is an identification number denoting the company, the platoon and the individual vehicle. So in the case of this particular Panzer IV it was issued to the 4th company, 1st platoon and was the ninth vehicle issued to them. Next we have the Tiger 2, or the Tiger King. Wait, what the fuck? Not you, Joe, not you. <coughs> Sorry folks, that won't happen again. Of course, what I meant to say is here we have the Tiger 2, also known as the Conix Tiger or King Tiger. And I'm sure you will agree it is a rather impressive tank. Now, that being said, there are a few tanks that are far more impressive than this here at the Tank Museum and we will get to those shortly. Enjoy the rest of the video. When I said far more impressive than this in the previous clip, this absolute unit is one of the tanks I was referring to. This is the Jagged Tiger. Designed as a heavy tank destroyer, the Jag Tiger was built on a modified Tiger II chassis. Its main gun was a Pak 44 12.8cm anti-tank gun, 12.8cm being the calibre. If you want some conversions, that is 128mm or 5 inches. God damn, that's impressive. Despite its impressive firepower, the Jag Tiger was only ever deployed as a rear guard tank, so it never saw any actual combat. Despite this, three of them were still lost to breakdowns and I can only assume that the reason this tank suffered breakdowns and had many other mechanical issues were due to its sheer size and weight, because this monster weighs 71.7 tons. This next tank really needs no introduction, but you are going to get one anyway, and do you know why? Because this is the Russian T-34. Tovarishk.
This brings us to the end of part three of my walkthrough of the Tank Museum. Hopefully you are enjoying these videos because they are a lot of work to put together. Anyway, that's all for now. If you like it, like it, please subscribe, comment and share. And remember, be good to each other. Thank <laughs> you.